Now that we have the visual interface, what we want to do is connect each text fields and buttons to the code so that we can actually get the price to pay calculated. So what you want to do is go to the viewcontroller.swift file and here we're going to create the equivalent of these um, um, controls on the screen to the code. All right, so what you want to do is below the class view controller, UI view controller, there's an opening curly brace, press enter, and below we're going to create an IB outlet. So write with me at IB outlet. By the way, it's case sensitive, so make sure you're ready the same way as I am. Var for variable, and we're going to create one for each text field. Okay, so let me show you which text fields I'm talking about. If you look in the storyboard, we have the uh, number of roommates text field, number of nights, and the price per night. Okay, so let's do the number of roommates one. By the way, you can have multiple tabs open. Press Command T, and this will open the new tab. I repeat, Command T. All right, and that creates a new tab. And now that you have two tabs, you can actually sw switch from one view to the other. All right, so I'm creating that Swift variable, the IB outlet, var. And uh, let's give it a name. Um, the first one that I said I wanted to do was the number of roommates. So I'm going to call it number of roommates, two M's, text field. OK. All right. And I'm going to put a column and say what type this is. This is a UI text field. OK. How do I know it's a UI text field? It's very simple. Go to the main storyboard. And if you click on the text field itself and you go right here under the identity inspector, you will see that the class is a UI text field. That's how I know we need a UI text field. OK, so let's go back to the viewcontroller.swift and we're going to put an exclamation point at the end, meaning that it cannot be empty. But uh, uh, don't worry about it too much. It's just a little detail. Now, as soon as you type that, you see that to the left of it, on the same line, there's a, an empty circle that appeared. That means that it recognizes this is an outlet and it, needs, it can be connected to the user interface in the storyboard. So let's connect it. Let's go to the main.storyboard. And we're going to click here and go to the connection tab, which is the one that looks like an arrow with a circle around. And let's go to um, the, um, the referencing outlet, OK? right here and just select the round circle and you see a plus sign appearing and we're going to drag and drop this to the view controller the yellow one okay and as soon as you do that you see a blue line that appears okay so this is about to do the connection just release and now you will see the number of roommates text field variable select it okay so click on it and now if you click back on the text field, you will see that there's a referencing outlet connection between the view controller, which is the Swift file, and this user interface in the storyboard. All right, so let's do the same thing for the two others, uh, the, 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 the two other text field. OK, so going back to the uh, Swift view controller dot Swift, as you can see, by the way, you see the, the dots is now filled up next to the IB outlet vari variable, which means that it's connected to the storyboard. So I'm going to create the other variable. So I'm just going to do a copy and paste and change the name of the variable. OK. And I'm going to put the number of nights text field. So number instead of number of roommates, the second line should say number of nights text field. And the last one should say price per night. OK. OK, price per night's text field. All right, now that we have these two more, let's connect them. Let's go to the main.storyboard and do the connection. So I'm going to click on this text field. I'm going to select the new referencing outlet, drag and drop this right here to the view controller and select the number of roommates text field. Now, I can do the same thing for the price per night, but let me show you a different way of doing it. In, again, in the new referencing outlet, I'm going to drag and drop this this time all the way in that panel right here where it says view controller, drag and drop this, and I'm going to select the uh, price per night. OK. All right. So select them all and make sure that you have the right referencing outlet. OK. And once you're done with that, go back to the main.storyboard and I'm sorry, go back to the view controller.swift and let's see if we have the connections. So as you can see, um, it has not refreshed. OK, so we have this. 
but this one doesn't show somehow. Uh, let's press enter and see if that's going to fix it. Okay, it seems that the number of nights text field is not connected, so let's go back and see what's going on with that. So this is supposed to be the number of nights, and yes, it's true, I connected the wrong one, I connected the number of roommates. So that's how you can verify. So I'm going to remove that and connect this again to the number of nights text field. Okay, now let's verify the number of roommates. This one got disconnected, so you need to reconnect it, okay? So it's a good thing that I had this error, so you guys can see that by connect, we can only connect one IB outlet to one field at a time, okay? So select the number of roommates text field. If you connect it multiple times, it's going to remove the other ones. All right, so now we verify, and we have the three of them connected to one field. Okay, now in the next lecture, what we're going to do is connect the rest of the user interface to the code. See you guys in the next lecture.